So, hello and welcome to another episode of Season 2 of the Cyclist Amateur Tactics, where we follow a team of Akhan and cycling enthusiasts through the amateur races where they want to see how far they can get. In, in the second season, the team has now grown from 2 to 3. And, yeah, let's see how they're doing this time. So, we're now at the start of our second season and a new uh, tour that we didn't have a last time around the Great Lakes tour so four flat-ish stages and one mountain time trial uh, which is more downhill than than uphill uh, so that will be interesting how this this plays out of our riders Maxim is on his minor fitness peak ahead of the major one for the time trial and he's also close to leveling up uh, so uh, let's see whether we can uh, maybe have a, a level 4 uh, a contender for the time trial. But first step uh, is a pretty long flat hilly stage in the Great Lakes. As to be expected, not among the favorites. And the lowest level leader in the competitor team's level 5 and he's a flat rider so uh, it's probably a matter of finishing uh, surviving the two climbs and then see where we're at so beautiful weather uh, or with well, the opposite uh, greeting us here uh, at the stage we're having a bit of slipstream so Let's get back into the peloton. And let's get across the first climb and then see what happens. One SKP. Piotr Kolorev, I haven't heard that name. That is a long stage, so conserving, conserving energy is the order of the day. That's done best at the back of a peloton. That doesn't look jumpable, so we'll have some fun doing some actual climbing, and we're going to have some fun. Wow! That's a way of jumping things. So... Paying one attack point is, I think, okay. I'm not risking falling behind on the first climb on the first stage. Not without a helper who could get us back into the game. Well, uh, Vladislav could, but we might actually need Vladislav for uh, the overall position on time. Because it, it will depend on how hard the peloton goes, whether Maxim actually makes it to the end with his uh, not too generous tool of energy. So now it's more downhill and a long flip area coming up, so not too many things that will happen, but one never knows. And some good time to enjoy the, the scenery and the non-existent sunshine. Yep, of these move. Let's get as much out of the downhill as possible. And that sits all well with us. Picking up the pace a little bit. Three or four energy. So the lone SKP 
keeps everyone on their toes. But they look more like managing, yeah, managing the distance instead of trying to catch up already. The key decider will be the two climbs, and that's still plenty of nodes to go to them. Not that many people pulling. Although we might have lost those who went a bit shorter. So that's the four uh, stragglers who probably will catch up and then I'll make it easy for them to catch up. I probably want to go out before the first climb so that I'm ready for everything that happens. Not that I think I'll have much chance, but um, not tech the downhill isn't not technical, so but it's still I think worth being part of the first group. Instead of having or being stuck at the end and having no chance to, to move forward. back together except for the lone skip. Oh, then we just check where the climb starts. So the climb starts at 138 to go, so with uh, 190 to go. That's a, good, uh, that's a good time to consider moving forward. Energy is holding up reasonably well. Uh, well, I shouldn't have said that. Now we have to invest in some points there. Mm, I think I can take one more. The safe cover of the flip stream. Especially since we've paid a lot of energy for the last turn, and this looks a much better turn to spend the two energy to move forward. Go f I think I can stay uh, 33. Where do we end up here? Probably somewhere here. I think I'll go out since that may be a large uh, jump in order to get to the bottom of the climb so that we're moving closer with the SKP see how good I am and to anticipate what the AI, do, the AI does. Uh, they're not coming forward yet and I think mm, are we energy wise Maximus mm. If no one else is coming, then we aren't coming either. Easy as. That's pretty timid. So that 
can't seem to be too concerned and that suits, that suits us all the better. So they keep the slowish pace. And it's probably two turns so we can stay stuck in the middle at least and then moving out this turn yeah that's not too bad not too bad at all in fact well Maxim has to pay the first energy due to his uh, server in flat still coming forward while we are now Maybe I learned that lesson too well and this wouldn't have been necessary, but anyway. What I'm seeing here is that now things are uh, not all over the places for just someone who's already dead, so yeah, let's go with the peloton and spend some attack points in the, in the process. A few more people are moving forward. Ooh, uh, hmm. So Vladislav. Uh, What's Maxim doing? Yeah, he's probably going to be out of juice soon anyway, and I would rather conserve him for the time trial tomorrow. And Vladislav is on, not on his fitness peak, so over one regeneration. Oh well, screw it. Follow along. It is a big downhill coming up and that's going to give us some energy back. I hope. to go back. This is... no, it's only one jump. I'm staying right here. Oh, they're going for a, regenera for a little bit of regeneration. I'll take that. Because I could imagine that this is an all amateur race that probably many are now out of energy and we also caught the SKP, you must have missed that. Doesn't appear anymore on the overview. So we are where we want oh. yeah we are where we want to be, maybe not in the state that we're in. 
but the goal is just to get past this final climb, and it's, it's now or never. So that's not too bad. So there are a couple who are now staying behind, and how hard do they want to make this for us? I'm not going to spend any energy to move back and forth. Um, hmm. Five energy, it's anyway. And I have no idea where the others are moving. But it's... I think still the best thing to do, because there is nothing here afterwards, just slight downhill. And we're doing something for the mountain jersey. Where do the others end up? Yeah, the same, same spot. Nope. Not that many, actually. So let's see whether we overextended ourselves or not. So the peloton is a little bit ahead. And our Vladislav can do a nice job of pulling. Let's see how far the peloton goes. Only three tracked riders with a peloton. That's not too bad, so we can easily catch up without overextending ourselves. So that went well. Maxim is almost empty and Vladislav isn't in isn't in better shape, so we're at the back of the field. Um, how much is this? It's two energy to come forward, so it's four energy to come forward. Uh, so Maxim has one full jump. How much are the others? The others are still something left. So I guess the sensible thing is simply to stay back here and let us be towed by slipstream. Suspect a couple riders will make a break, but that's out of our reach. So they're going for the 13, and they're probably then going to the next 13. The other reason not to go forward is to have at least a little bit of energy tomorrow for Vladislav. And Maxim is too dead to go forward. He will probably be reasonably recovered with, sip with the sit and speak. And the Pelotar isn't doing the worst job in keeping us in the race. So it will be a mass sprint. They can happily duke it out at the front. But it won't be too bad for us time-wise. and zero or one energy to get across the finish line. So that's been not too bad given the stage layout and our l very limited skills. And I guess there are a couple of stragglers who still have to finish and we're way past those, so that's good. So that could have been worse. Ninth and tenth. If we can keep this, then I think this 
should be um, at least something that gives prestige and one meager mountain jersey point, which we didn't aim to get, but I'm happily take that. So I think we can do the time trial as well. And even there we don't appear as the favorite. I'm not sure what to make of this of this profile, so one way to find out. Um, yeah, Maxim is almost back in shape, and Vladislav has suffered. So, I, so what I will do with Vladislav is take it very slowly, so that we're back in business tomorrow, and then it's up to Maxim to stay up with whatever with everyone else on the other stages, and Vladislav is officially out of contention so that's probably a bit of a planning because it's a bit of a longer time trial so I have attack points for three full turns one two just energy and across the line. So that seems to be a good investment. If I could recall where here, yeah, I think I went to the night, so I go full out here. And I will just spend energy with Ladislav. So that was yeah seems uh, seem to be doing something sensible here because everyone is on the same note. No energy for Vladislav. So. Um, does this matter? Yes, because it's the jump to the end. So where is the red clock? So we're a bit ahead of the curve here. sure I want to go all out, although regeneration. I feel like going all out. Third is definitely worth it. It's a podium. So I think we can... Is this, this be the final? No, this would not be the final one, and I can actually afford to be a bit low pokish here four and five and six is a deal and then just across the line so third place in the time trial Gets us to sixth in the overall standings. And Vladislav, yeah, is among the also rands, but that's fine. So, next, bit of a hilly mixed bag. The, the one after that has one nasty climb at the end, and the last one is probably the easiest one. Um, so, two tricky ones up ahead. So, Maxim has lost a few attack points, but I'd rather take the, rather take the podium. So that was that was nice. Uh, so that's something to keep out uh, to uh, to keep an eye out for. And Vladislav is back to full health, so that was uh, sensible. And so I think the next stage looks something like for the next episode. Let's see what happens there. <laughs>